welcome to Spam Filter for Your Brain, bite-sized ponderings on how our thoughts influence our behaviour and our lives, and because we're all connected, how our thoughts impact the world. I'm here to help people reconnect with their bodies and declutter their brains. And I don't believe that we should just magically know how our emotions and our thoughts impact our lives if no one ever teaches us. So let's learn this stuff together. It's that time of year when everyone's talking about relationships and the capitalist machine that Valentine's Day has become is in full swing. And I thought that it was a appropriate time to share one of my greatest learnings about how to heal a broken heart and I think many of us even if we're not in the situation and of heartbreak at this particular moment we can probably all think back to someone or something that has happened to us that has really bruised and we feel like there's still some bits that are just about hanging together when they used to be quite cemented (laughs) that's a image I have of a little shattered heart um and one of the most amazing moments I had in my my journey with heartbreak is in realizing that I can choose to love someone irrespective of my interactions or my contact with them so for me this came about this revelation came about um many years after the end of a relationship that I was really struggling to make peace with in my heart and I was really still mourning the loss of that person um and and it really made a huge difference to me when I realized that my ability to love this person has nothing to do with them (laughs) and it definitely has nothing to do with my amount of communication with them and so Wherever this person is in the world, whatever they're doing, however much I interact with them or don't, I can choose to love them with all of my heart from a place of complete sincerity when I don't need anything back. And that needing something back is needing the kind of the interaction or the validation or the response from them that actually there is so much liberty in just deciding to love for my own benefit. And because I'm the person who gets to feel that amount of joy and connection and magic in the world when I open my heart that much. I think really often we're taught and encouraged that we should sort of cut people off or close our hearts or walk away from someone. And I realised that a lot of the pain and the suffering that I'd had about the end of this relationship was actually in the closing off of my heart and the... um, trying to force myself to not love somebody that I still did. And actually, when I realised that I could just love them anyway, (laughs) I don't need anything back from them. I can just be over here with my open heart doing my thing. I'm the one who gets to benefit from that. And I'm the one who gets to feel all of that love. And, you know, maybe somewhere out in the universe, depending on your, your feelings on energy or spirituality or whatever you believe like maybe that person can feel some of that too but also they don't have to that's not why I'm doing it I'm doing it because I don't choose to close my heart and I don't choose to close off from people just because I'm not in contact with them and of course even if you don't agree that this is possible or it all just sounds a little bit more um hippie fluffy than you're (laughs) willing to accept from this podcast or from me um it's this is the way that we love people who who've died this is the way that we can still carry on caring about people who are no longer with us and we do this anyway so if we're doing it anyway like why um, why can't we apply it to the people who are around us or the people who are still alive it's so liberating and has given me so much oxygen to realize that I can just choose to feel the way that I feel about people and they don't necessarily need to know about it (laughs) And I don't need to tell them and I certainly don't need anything back from them. It just gives me my power back and enables me to be able to continue to think and feel and behave in the way that I choose to without balancing this all on an, on a need for someone else to either reciprocate or respond or to even know about it. And that in itself has given me the freedom to widen my heart so much more. So if there's any particular relationships you can think of where this would be useful, I hope that it serves as some kind of salve 
to be able to add a little bit more healing into where you want to be with someone and the feelings that you want to have towards them. And also to remove some of the sort of guilt or shame we might have about not being in connection with someone anymore, whether we it's by our choice or not. But just to know that we can still choose our feelings about things and we can always choose love. It's always an opportunity out there for us to decide that we're going to love more and love louder and stronger and actually no one needs to know about that other than us if we don't want it to and we absolutely benefit from it. I hope that's useful and I'm wishing you many opportunities to garden and heal and mend your broken hearts. Wishing you a very happy Valentine's Day. If you're enjoying what you're hearing on the podcast here, I would love to invite you to self-care school. Self-care school is a membership site where we have group coaching calls every week. We have a whole load of courses that you can dip into for whatever suits your needs. We have courses on confidence, body image, um, timekeeping, how to manage big emotions, um, overwhelm, loads and loads of stuff in there you can kind of pick out whatever you want to work on there is a big library of workbooks which includes journal prompts and questions for you to be able to apply this work to your own life and we we have the most amazing community where people support each other we learn from each other and you get to work alongside people with quite often very different life situations to your own and we learn so much together in community if you would like some more of this please do hop over to selfcareschool.co.uk